Roman, just how do you sum up this experience, the tremendousness of the regular season and then a quick exit from the playoffs? Is it a mixture of emotions or just all, all bad emotions at a time like this? Um, I mean, I, I was pretty tired, you know. Um, uh, I've never had a, a season that long, like with no breaks. Um, um, I think it's, it's first of all to talk about the season. Um, we had a great season, but it's actually really long. You see a lot of injury breaks, you know. Uh, I hope the other guy, uh, I don't know, Rosario, it's nothing, nothing too serious um, that he can go on. But um, no, we played good. We played good. Uh, second half, I think we put a lot of pressure, and um, yeah, we had the chance, but we didn't score, and we conceded one, one too much. Court, yeah. How do you hope St. Louis remembers this first year for you guys? How I hope how, Sa how St. St. Louis, how the supporters, how the fans, how the city remembers the first ever team here to do this. Um, that we are, I would say, an honest group, uh, an honest team. You know, um, we leave everything we have on the field. Uh, we try to to do our best every time we step on the field, uh, especially also for them because uh, to. Today again, the support that we had. Um, some sometime, they were louder than the the Kansas fans, and um, I mean, that's that shows a lot. And it's just amazing the support that we have. And um, but uh, obviously, they can dis they, they can be disappointed uh, as well. You know, I mean, we we tried our best to win the conference and then go out in the first round. Could definitely be better, but um, I would say. The guys, the, the, the whole team, try to to give everything um, in every game, especially also in the home games when, when we played in front of them. What kind of a building block can a first year like this be for the future? Yeah, good one. Uh, obviously, we have um, now uh, a break where I think some things can happen, you know, player can leave, uh, players can come, and uh, maybe we need uh, to adjust, um, make adjustments in, in certain positions, but uh, that's that's not uh, our focus now. Um, you know, <coughs> we had a, a good season, uh, a great first season, and all what comes next is, is not uh, in our heads right now. Uh, that's part of sporting director and ownership. Next, we go to Ben Hockman. Hey, Roman, um, what can you share? What What do you recall happened on that first goal that Kansas scored? Um, <laughs> let me think. Yeah, I know it was a while ago. I mean, you could probably explain it better <laughs> to me because... Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, well, how, about, how about there's a more general question? Just overall... Uh, coach made three three new defensive mm -hmm. changes for the game. You allowed two goals, but a lot of those dudes played really well. Also, how do you describe the defense in general? Um, good. Uh, unless like you know the the first goal that we concede is um, the only thing that I really remember is that we did, don't track Dembe's run, you know, and then he's all of a sudden completely free in our box and and can have a shot without pressure and. Um, as we know from last week, he's, he, he hits a target. So um, um, that's definitely a part of that we, we have to improve. You know, we have to, to track or to watch the players' runs and not always just the ball because um, at the end, um, it's, it's well played from Kansas, but um, we, we could have definitely done better in, uh, in the defense. And uh, the second goal is yeah, it's like we tried a lot, you know, we, we knew we needed a goal and then you are a little bit open, but still um, we should uh, still like be a little bit more uh, experienced and like know that one goal, you can always score one goal, but two goals, it's going to be very difficult. So whatever happens, don't concede the second goal and um, we, we, we conceded that and so yeah, it's a uh, little bit of immature, I would say, um, how we how we played that out. But at the end, like I said, we had we had the chance to two, for two goals, and um, we didn't we didn't score. 
Next we go to John Lupo. Uh, Roman, is there one moment from this season that you'll take away that stands out? I mean, this team broke so many records for an expansion side. It had so many special moments and so many great things happened to it. But is there one thing that you can take away from it as sort of the highlight of the season? No. And I don't want to, because uh, I think the whole season together, um, with everyone involved, makes made made it like the way it is, you know, made it a great season, a special season. And um, so I don't really want to pick one point uh, or one one situation or one action or it's uh, it it would not be right to do that. So um, everyone involved in that in that first season and um, also every moment that we had doesn't matter if it was a win or a loss or a draw. Um, to put all these things together uh, made it uh, the, the good season that we had and uh, I had a lot of fun uh, and um, I said to the team uh, after the game you know it's one thing that you're gonna lose the game but the game is one thing but in my opinion I won because um, I didn't know what to expect you know when I came here and I met a lot of beautiful people and um, beautiful teammates and uh, I told them I'm just proud to be a part of of the team and in my opinion that's a win for this season. Kevin? Roman, what was it like to get that uh, incredible ovation from the fans um, after after the loss? Yeah, it's uh, it was nice, you know, <laughs> what can I say? It's We lost, we are out of the playoffs, uh, obviously we are Frustrated, we are disappointed, but um, it was very nice from the fans. Yeah. Jacob, uh, last week after the loss, you talked about how it all kind of started in the week of practice and how important this last week coming into this game was in practice. Do you feel like you got out of practice this week in the preparation for today that you were hoping for? Doesn't matter. We lost the game, you know. Like it doesn't matter if we could. I could. I can tell you, like yes, we we, we did a really good training, but. Um, it's the end of the season now for us, so it doesn't matter. Um, I would rather have it like in the way that we had a really shitty week, you know, in training, but then we win the game. Uh, but um, we had a good week and we lost the game, so now it, it doesn't matter anymore, you know. We got time for two more. We'll go to Matt Baker and wrap up with Tom. Hey, Robin, I'm, I'm curious what your thoughts are on this for, not just the playoff format but playing the same team four times in the past two months and do you feel like you learned enough to be happy with I guess the progression if not the results going into the offseason horrible <laughs> horrible playing four times the same team could have been six I don't know I don't know, but uh, I was here. Uh, the guys here, we tried our best. You know, we can't complain every time like when something's not in our hands. So um, I can just share how I feel about that. It has nothing to do with that we are out now of the, or we lost against Kansas. Um, they deserve to win. But um, to be completely honest, to play, to have the chance to play six times against the same opponent is, not mine. We'll wrap up with Tom. Did the team ever kind of get back to its best game after you guys clinched those last four games? Did you ever see that old team? Can you, can you? Did you, in those last four games, the last two regular season games, the two Kansas City games, did you ever see the team that had made the run that it did in the first 32 games of the season? Mm, I think. We definitely lost a little bit when we first clinched the playoffs, you know, uh, and it was 100% sure we just, I don't know, uh, maybe it's definitely the players' fault, you know, because um, we we calmed down a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. the, the training sessions weren't as aggressive and with mm -hmm. as much fire in it anymore um, how it was before. and. You can definitely see that in, in the games, you know, we weren't that that um, dominant and aggressive on the field then as well. But our pressing wasn't good enough, it was small details they were missing, but because uh, we didn't do that in training and um, 
it's always, you know, I try to, to tell the guys and also, like, not only the guys also here that, in my opinion, you play how you train, you know, and um, mm -hmm. if the training intensity is not high enough, then you will never reach the intensity that is needed to, to win a, a regular season or a playoff game. And what was the feeling just after Celio scores, and then you get 12 minutes of stoppage time, you know, the chances to... Get yeah, to I thought we were gonna, definitely going to score another one, uh, mm -hmm. definitely. Because they were scared after, the, you could see, you know, they, they were scared after the, the goal they conceded. Like, they just mm -hmm. dropped back and they were waiting and we played long balls. Mm -hmm. Klaus um, tried, mm -hmm. tried his best, you know, but then just um, sometimes in little situations we, we need to be a little bit smart, you know, mm -hmm. that I was missing today. Mm -hmm. Roman, thank you for joining us. We appreciate your time. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Roman. Thanks, Roman.